Good day, everybody. It's John Seville from Acorn Wealth. It is Monday night, the 20th of July, and this is your stock setups for tomorrow for Tuesday morning. The executive summary. Now, if we look at the S&P 500, we have uh, printed open range on Friday, options expiration on Friday, of course, the 17th. Uh, we closed within the range today, but looking very, very toppy. You can see that we are... Uh, basically kind of going back and forth. We're now at the top of this bump and run formation, so we'll see what occurs next. Um, in terms of the performers of today, the really big performance that I've seen across the board have been on the short side. Um, if we go and have a look here at uh, uh, some of the stocks here from the Acorn Wealth Picks, the executive summaries and so forth, we see Court. C-O-R-T uh, has been a beautiful drop. We uh, picked that as a rally up to 603 and a drop from there. Close today at 525. Of course, our target there was uh, 549, so that was uh, easily hit today. So a beautiful short there from 603 to 549. Uh, Alcoa that just continues to perform. Uh, this was, uh, a, if you remember, a break below 1293. So uh, this one's continually dropped now at 1020. These are the kind of momentum players you want to find. Uh, BECN, also one of the executive summaries. Um, this one's uh, uh, triggered and look, look, looks look, looks really good. It's just kind of rolling down slowly but steady. Uh, NE, another performer. Um, this one's just kind of rolling through and just dropping and dropping and dropping. Um, again, beautiful momentum behind this. No lift from the market. Uh, of course, we were looking for a break of 1393, now down to 1298. So in all of these, they're just uh, looking like they're rock solid. Um, on Arnett, another one from the shorts, looking for a break of 27.93, as uh, now down to 26.59. So again, another 10%. Um, a lovely drop there. Well, it's going not 10% there yet, but uh, on its way. Uh, and then GRBK, Green Brick. Uh, this one's looking really good. So this is uh, this is just starting to roll over. Uh, just tested the moving average. We're looking for a break of 12. Uh, excuse me, 11.73. Um, it broke that. So this is looking excellent, also. Um, and the last uh, last one. Ooh, second last one. Let's look through the list. We've got a couple there. Uh, ESV from trading room on Thursday uh, had a nice 6.35 percent drop on Friday another four percent so ten percent drop so far on ESV since we discussed that on uh, Thursday so uh, all of those looking good and uh, the two last ones I was looking at here was uh, BSX um, which is actually rallying instead of breaking down we were looking for a rally a break below 1727 instead we've rallied to the top of this uh, uh, downward channel so I'll be looking for a possible entry on this tomorrow as it's sh selling resistance and still looking for a breakdown of this uh, sideways consolidation to the downside so that one on BSX still looking at a target of 1640 And BEC, and yes, we already looked at that one. Okay, so um, so far so good. Everything's looking really solid. I hesitate to add too many more just until we get the break of the open range. But the two favorites that I have on the short side at the moment, looking at GTLS as a momentum play, you can see this is just uh, just broken down here today. So either looking for a rally up into resistance around 32.48 or a break of today's uh, low, but preferably just actually looking for that rally up uh, to here around that 32. Uh, let's have a look at where exactly that will come in. Um, yeah, basically looking here at 32.38. Okay, so that's the one play, and then looking for that as a momentum um, with a looking at a stop loss here at the uh, the 33.49. And uh, target will just be, be moving the moving average down, but initially I think at least thirty dollars. So looking at at least around ten percent, and then EBIX, EBIX. Okay, EBIX also looking good. Um, we we'll have a look at this. Uh, support system you can see we just broke through that today so this would be momentum to the downside uh, a break of 3021 3021 and again I think that could at least get down to uh, kind of its 200 day moving average will, will come in around twenty six dollars so again also looking at ten percent plus on ebix and I'd be looking at a stop loss uh, up at thirty one fifty one 
So, some uh, two more shorts to add. And again, what I like about those is the strong sense of momentum to the downside. No lift in the in when the rally was market was rallying, and the moving average is staying strongly above. So, um, those are the key things uh, that I want to see uh, in going about these types of trades. So once again, uh, that, that's your uh, executive summary for today, and uh, we'll see you all tomorrow. Take care and have a great night.